Hello, traders, and welcome to our Options XO first New York market review of the week. It's Monday, April the 18th. Asian markets were the first to react to news that the Doha meeting of OPEC and non OPEC oil ministers had not only failed to reach an agreement, and apparently the talks were derailed. The Nikkei closed down 3.4% this morning, perhaps an overreaction, seeing as how most Asian indexes only dropped by half to 1.4%. The yen is at an 18-month high, and Thursday's 7.2 scale earthquakes weren't helping markets either. Chinese stocks fell by three-week records, with the China Petroleum Corporation losing 3%. Data last week was indicating a recovery of the Chinese economy, with housing demand pushing up growth and the housing price index this morning climbing by 4.9%. During the weekend, policymakers released guidelines on restructuring and redeploying 1.8 million laid-off workers from the coal and steel industries and reducing capacity by 10 to 15 percent. At least one major sector was enjoying the oil makers' fiasco in Doha today – European airlines and travel operators. Other than that, like their Asian counterparts, European indexes are pretty much into the red, though not drastically so. Air France and EasyJet are up 2.5% and the indexes are down by decimals of a percent. If anything, the Doha talks are showing that there really is no centralized power to threaten oil as there was in the 1970s, and few are the analysts who see this as an entirely bad thing. German Finance Minister Wolfgang Schaubel and European Central Bank Governor Mario Draghi came back from Washington under better terms than they left, even though Draghi is still considering additional stimulus as summer ends. And in London, home pre-sales dropped by 33% as taxes on foreign buyers are quelling demand. In the US, as markets open, we see a dropping industrial output reading and the consumer sentiment index gone sour. That's the fourth month in a row for sentiment, a result of climbing oil prices and very unclear policy indications from both the government and the Fed. Last week, both the bank and the president held secret talks with Chair Yellen, and fears are that expansionary policies have failed to revive the economy. The US dollar is at an 18-month low on Doha data, and quarterly earnings reports are showing falling sales and profits. Canadian manufacturing sales also fell in February, but existing home sales are rising. As mentioned, the Doha talks have been postponed thanks to Saudi Arabia's insistence on Iranian cooperation. Brent this morning opened with a $2 downward gap, but it's since been rising. And Brent has been following the lead. The US rig count was down again on Friday, and inventories last week were dramatically up. With the uncertainty in the air, gold is another winner, climbing quite steadily over the weekend and increasing momentum as of this morning. And soybeans, which have been climbing steadily since the beginning of March, may have just struck resistance in the 960 region. Still ahead today are speeches by the Fed's William Dudley at 12.30 p.m. GMT and Eric Rosengren at 11 tonight. At 2 p.m., the National Housing Board's Market Index. Join us tomorrow for our London review. Till then, happy trading.